but Carissa Moore, world number one, up and riding. Steep drops take off on her backhand, waiting for that section to open up. Nice and smooth on that first turn, comes and hits the second. A wobbly section, but rides out clean. Her move was beautiful too, but then just regathers herself. Looks to find some open face to work with. Gets stuck in on the second maneuver right there. Actually, as we see Lakey Peterson getting that early draw as well, digs that rail in, kicks out. So two waves ridden. Wow, Carissa drawing first blood in this exchange. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's really fun, and I'm super stoked to be in back-to-back -back finals. It feels awesome, and um, you know all the girls are so good, so I'm super stoked. Seen her good friend Lakey get a wave. Lakey now up and riding on her backhand. Quick takeoff, coming in under the lip, throws that tail around. She's going to ride out, kick out clean on the outside. Lakey Peterson answering back. Powerful on the backhand, connects two turns together for that combination, gives the fist pump back to the shoreline. She dropped in just a 3.0 for her last wave, looking to build on that score line. A little bit smaller, let's have a look though, but I love the way that she just does a full rotation through her backhand maneuvers. This one right here, just such a great move. Second look on that, she likes it. We'll see how that number plays out. There's still so much in it, and if Carissa can can be the champ, clinch the world title here. Wow, here she goes grabbing that rail. Drops into the barrel. She's finding the tube time, unable to be spit out. That would hurt not to come out, but I love what she was channeling. Lakey Peterson putting herself in position, a beautiful left hand opening up, driving around that first section. A great swoop back into the pocket. An unfortunate stumble there. Is she gonna gain momentum coming through to that inside section? Powerful finish, oh. unable to ride out of the white water. Rosie, break that wave down for us. Dropping in this beautiful peak, you could hear the crowd just erupting as she got to her feet. Beautiful open sweep there, she just hits a bit of a wobble. And then it kind of throws her whole ride off as she gets the inside section, just still tries to bank it off. Gets swallowed by the white water. Small scores required for Lakey to take the advancing position, just a 3.5. Coming in off the bottom, two turns connected together. Speed wobbles at the finish, rides out clean. She'll be looking for that score she requires. Beautiful stretched out wall on her backhand, so impressed with her technique. Just stays out in front of it, knows that she has to hit it one more time. Shuffles that front foot forward so she rides out clean. Connects two quick turns together. Let's see how high this number's gonna go. That is a crucial wave for Lakey. So should things stay as stands, Carissa will hold on to the Jeep Leader's jersey heading into Maui. Now coming in off the bottom, great bit of variety thrown into that first turn in a frothy section. Ooh, so not gonna be the six, seven, four required. Uh, let's have another look at Carissa. So beautiful bottom turn, wrap combo from Carissa. The wave unfortunately lets her down. And Rosie, your thoughts after we take another look at this one. Great carve to start off with. As we see a great set coming through the lineup, Lakey Peterson with priority, looking to improve to put maybe another excellent score on the board. Setting up for this first turn, hits the section so powerful that it just eats her, swallows her. And now the energy shift in the heat. Carissa has priority. Lakey's gonna take sets on the head. She knows she's made an error. But can Carissa put the repeat on France now up and riding? A kick in and out, loses priority, Rosie. Whoa, this has been such an interesting battle as we see. Nikki now having a paddle under priority. Carissa lets her go. Setting up for that first turn, explosive. Now lining it up down the way. Puts on the finishing touch, looking to improve on a 5.23. That was such a funny thing because had Lakey not lost priority. I don't think she would have gone on that way. Lakey, she's just lost priority. She scratches into this right hander, blasts it off the top, gets projection and speed out onto the open face, hits that end section. This to Hawaii. And Lakey is so hungry for her first world title to force this to go to Maui. Carissa up and riding, one last draw on the buzzer. Goes in for a floater closeout, chasing that 6.74.
Rosie, what a finish. The world title race now goes to Maui. Lakey Peterson keeping her name in the mix. Carissa Moore out. Lakey Peterson, Caroline Marks in the final for the male Rip Curl Pro.